Hello Seleta is a project that helps an Aboriginal tribe in Johor, they are called Orang Seleta, to publish a magazine style book. We want to take what they say orally, record it in the book, because orally can be lost at any time. We also plan to send these books to libraries across the countries, also send to some community centres, so more people can have an opportunity to touch this book. We will also be operating our social media and will do a series of activities such as an awareness campaign. Because they are also in Malaysia, in Johor, but we still do not know them. Everyone thought that Orang Asli is Orang Asli. There's a difference between the mountains and the sea one, but we don't distinguish what kind of plant they are. Have you ever heard of the Japanese sea woman? Actually, I throw the sea people were such an assistant like this. Actually, I didn't know them at all at first until our lecturers took us to Sukaitemon and after communicating with them, only I knew that in Johor, in JB, have the existence of Orang Seleta. In the rich area, it is the way of life that we usually imagine or come into contact with. Or real life is different. I thought that they would be unfamiliar at first, just I would not care about people. Surprisingly, they are all very friendly. It doesn't feel like an interview. It feels like talking to an old friend who we haven't seen each other for a very long time. And their kids is like, when we come into the village, they will always smile to you, and they will automatically be compared to the season hand sign. Suka tak buku ini? Suka? Sebab ada campur sejarah bangsa kita dalam ini. Campur yang lama, campur dengan sekarang bagus juga bagi orang luar tahu uh, tentang seleta laut. Buku ni pun penting. Dulu tak ada rekod, orang dulu tak ada rekod dalam buku. Sekarang baru ada rekod. Daripada dulu campur sekarang baru ada bagus sikit lah. Kira bagus jugaklah yang awak buat macam ni. was little hearts because they may not be very concerned about their own culture. We found that many things is, is empty. We found they are difficult. We have been to those kampong. Their living environment is not very hygienic. My most impressed is when I going to Pasir Bute, a village over there. And then we talk with a female village. Then we discovered that the government treated them like a big perfunctory. It is obvious that her eyes are full of despair. That is true. If I can eat now today, then maybe my life is not very good. How can I still pay attention to the things? So I also hope that my words can let more people too, at least later if it does disappear, still can know that, that there was such a history like this. Instead of Chinese, Indian, and Malays, there is another minority we have not discovered yet. Hope this project can have an impact to them and for us, everyone in our team, as a college students from this project, we can feel that we are live in a very good country because there are different cultures here to let us accept and understand. <laughs>